chairmen were the first to fall. As bizarre as it was baffling, it was decreed they should henceforward be referred to as chairs. Oh, to be around a boardroom table, if only to hear it announced. Following approval from the cabinet, the chair tabled the motion. Headmasters and mistresses swiftly followed. They're all head teachers now, just as restaurant manageresses and spokeswomen have all been done away with. And I'm still not sure if I'm allowed to say actress. But the latest victim of this ludicrous and confected gender-neutral campaigning is, wait for it, Father Christmas. One mum from Plymouth found herself shamed on social media after discussing a book entitled Father Christmas. But she was piously informed. Only the name Santa Claus is deemed appropriate. Now, while I believe in Father Christmas and kids, he does exist. Don't listen to grumpy and naughty people who suggest <laughs> otherwise. I cannot subscribe to this seasonal stupidity. Call him Father Christmas, St Nick or Santa, it doesn't matter. This is not so much ho, 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 as no, no, no! <laughs>
a reaction against the reality of the work, of the work, different workload in Christmas. No, and I we don't want think to that's give women more credit. So I think I think it's kind of like the thing where you have with um, yeah. superheroes: the fact that not enough traditionally superheroes were written for female roles, and therefore, if you want to get more uh, women in, into into the comic book comic book genre, you have to sort of change the gender and that sort of thing. Similarly. I think it's about finding those new roles for people. For example, the M&S advert showed how the, the mother Christmas, what was her name, Mrs. Claus, she was integral to the actual work done by Santa. So we, you actually increase the value of the female role rather than replacing the male role. But why are we bringing political uh, correctness? Because identity Christmas. politics has infused and infested every single part of life yes. now. I mean, not even Christmas is sacred. But I think, it should, I think it should be. That's my argument. No, I, mean, I like the Christmas tradition. Not least I, because of the story. Oh, I, I told my kids about Father. But in your you objected to chair... Yeah, I think no. chair, chair is ludicrous. I mean, why? Be, because it just, it, it you just are says man, it can be a man or it can be a woman. But you, why can't you be a chairman or a chairwoman? Listen, let's, I, I don't let's, understand. Let's, why can't? Why do you have to be a chair? Imagine ringing your wife or your husband, darling. It's fantastic. I've just become a chair. I mean, for the love of God, it's ridiculous, isn't it, Carol? Let's. I just want us to look at a lady called Gina Battier. She's a, an LGBT um, consultant. Let's hear what she has to say about it. We don't need to give Father Christmas a gender-neutral name. Father Christmas is a tradition, and if we start questioning Santa's gender. Well, surely that means we have to go back and question all the other historical characters and traditions too. You see, and, and, and it's interesting that, you know, when, when there's been a story recently about the census, isn't it? about yeah. the question mm. on the census. Oh, yes, that's right. About whether people should be, you know, if, if, you know, whether you say what you were born as or what you identify as. Yeah, this is and, not your gender. And, and, it's and your sexuality, though. Yeah, asking but people it's interesting that the they, they, know, they might be. This is up yeah. Yeah, No, I think it's voluntary for over 16s. Yeah. Oh. But, it, but it's yeah. interesting that the LGBT Foundation recently complained that, that, mu that there are multiple barriers for, for people to access, for trans people to abs access the support services because there's not enough data about them. Yeah. And this can census will actually stop us getting correct data if it, if, if it goes through. No, well, in the last call, can I, I need to um, c come back on that from the LGBT charity um, who say on this point there remains a complete lack of accurate population yes. data for trans people. This makes the provision of effective services supporting and meeting the needs of the community more challenging. Whilst there remains progress to be made, the 2021 census is nonetheless an important step in ensuring that we live in a society where trans people are treated with the same dignity and respect afforded to everybody else. That's Emma Meehan from the LGBT Foundation charity. I think, Greg, you want to come in? Well, I, I understand that because actually uh, I suspect the number they'll find is tiny mm. compared to the well, whole we'll population. We'll wait and see after the, the census. Population. But I remember the last census, or maybe the census before, my kids all, when it wrote down you wanted to know your religion, they wrote down Jedi. Yes, yeah. that's right. And thousands wrote yes. down Jedi. I mean, 10% yes. of the population became yeah. Jedi. Their religion was Jedi. But doesn't it depend what the question is but on the census? What is the question going to be on the census? And also, uh, what are the options they give you yes, for sexuality? I mean, it, do they say what you were natural born or, or do gender. they ask what you identify Well, I don't think it's been determined because it's 2021, so they're yeah. still working out what the exact. But if no, you come. It's the whole point is it's what you identify as, no, Carol. That's what people. No, no, it is. That's what people are, are, have been triggered well, that by. Won't work. That won't work, so yeah. you don't get accurate data. Then. Well, no, for the provision of maternity units, we, you, you can't no, have people. I you need to know how many women I live. I think I'm correct in saying is the question is going to be what gender do you identify? That's what they want to do. Yes, that's what they want to do. What well, Carol and I are saying is that won't yes, work. That won't give you accurate data. No, 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 no. You have a, to be. We have to remember that there is a difference between gender and sex. Right. So yes. if, right. You, if, you, if, you, if you say I identify as this gender, that doesn't change your sex. Yeah. But, yes. the, but, there were, but, we, but, but you've you, got to know where you're going to build maternity units. Yes. So there's no point a man saying, you know, I feel, and, and I have respect for these people, but you've got to know who actually is a woman because yes. then you can provide the maternity and wards. That's yes. sex. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, that, and well, the, that's a gender. And, yeah. And you yeah. know, the so they're not going to have a sex and a gender question. I, I, it's all for well, review. But the, the, census, the, census, the census doesn't exist to validate people's identities. It's about accurate information about how many natural born Given the need. Given the, given the specific needs of trans people, you need to include that in the, in the census, surely. You, what, maybe you have to have two questions. Sex. You have to do two yes. questions. Well, again, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm not, Natural born and what you identify as. two different as. issues. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But then, we don't but, know if those two questions are going be, to be in there. But it's, in, be. In, it's yeah. useful and interesting information to have, basically. Yeah, yes. Given that yes. you were saying that you know it's ridiculous that the trans lobby has hijacked various arguments, well, actually, we can find out how big the trans lobby or the trans population is. Yeah. Which will be a good thing.